Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Gabriel with another fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, look, man, we almost at 300 subscribers. Let's keep going, man. Keep running it up. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. And we only going to do more and more videos as we get closer and closer to the football season. So go ahead and subscribe, man. Keep, keep you updated on this latest Ravens news and this latest NFL news. So speaking of NFL news and Ravens news, J.K. Dobbins gave us the best update possible, right? And that update is that he expects to be ready week one, but it's the best update possible because it's coming straight from the source himself, right? There's no insiders. There's no uh, reports here. It's no... Uh, I got sources telling me this or that straight from J.K. Dobbins. So earlier, uh, earlier yesterday, uh, Ian Rappaport released a, tw uh, released a tweet. Um, well, really, it was the um, he was doing an interview on NFL now. OK, and he was talking about J.K. Dobbins and he said that he's no sure thing for week one. He hasn't had any setbacks, but the knee injury was a serious one. And they just want to be pretty much. They want to be careful with them. They don't want to rush it back. They have no incentive. To rush J.K. Dobbins onto the field. Cool. Which would have been a fine report, you know, which is the truth. It, you know, the Ravens have no incentive to rush him back. But J.K. Dobbins said, you know what, I'm tired of being quiet about it. L let me speak on this. Okay. He says, I'm, I'm tired of being quiet. Come to me with your shorts, rap sheet, because I might not even go on pup, because that's how good my rehab is going, and I'm damn sure going to be ready for week one. All right. Now, J.K. Dobbins saying that he's damn sure be ready for week one. That that's good. His rehab is flowing well. There's a report that it was the injury was more serious than previously uh, expected. May might may or may not be true. Okay, so if J.K. Dobbins can get back week one. That's great. But I do have to look at the wording of this tweet. Right. Um, he says I might not even go on pup. Now, he's confident in himself. He's confident in his abilities, but there's a little bit of doubt in there. I might not go on pop, all right? I'm not going to overdo everything he said in this um, this tweet exactly. But even though his rehab is going well, I think he still realizes that between now and um, September 11th, when the first game of the season is going to kick off for the Ravens, there's still work to be done. There's still, well, I guess we're like, you know, almost two, two months, month and a half out from that. Um, he still has to get on the field, be able to cut properly and effectively, do all these kind of drills and everything like that, and show progress that, you know, he's ready to play football. And, you know, listen, rap, Ian Rappaport is just doing his job, right? You know, they, they, had, they said they have sources. They're saying that's confirming this or that. And who knows how true these sources are, how, how good these sources are. Um, sometimes these guys may even get a little hit of themselves and maybe make up sources. I'm not going to accuse Rap Report of that. But what I do like to see is that these players um they're taking they're taking control of their own narrative. They're taking control of their own story. Somebody can't put a story out there and you just let it go and you accept it. Right? JK Dobbins is not doing that. He said, Hey Rap Report, tell me who your source is, and I will tell you I'm way past expectation uh, uh expectation, excuse me, on um my rehab. Now I still believe, I'm still of the sound mind that if J.K. Dobbins doesn't play week one, it's really not that big of a deal. The fact that he wants to play is good. He's feeling great. He, you know, he feels like he's in that condition. He's heading towards that track. That's awesome. That's great. But like I said in the video I did previously about J.K. Dobbins, him being ready week one really isn't important for the Baltimore Ravens. Week one ain't the playoffs. Week one ain't uh, uh, end of the season. We're making a deep run, trying to get in or trying to win the division, whatever it may be. Week one is not that. Week one is just one game. Okay. We need J.K. Dobbins for the long stretch at the end of the season, playoffs, things like that. Him being ready week one and not being fully ready and prepared is not something that I care for, not something that means anything to me. Now, this might mean more to J.K. Dobbins just to prove to the doubters and the haters that, yeah, I said I was ready, and look, I'm ready. I'm back here on the field. So if he if he feels that way, then that's great, man. And he also, another tweet, he said, just know I've been working, I've been quiet for a reason. I thrive best when I face adversity. Go check my resume. So, J.K. Dobbins is putting it out there that he went through this adversity, tearing his ACL, um, doing the last last game of the preseason last year, or a third game, so whatever it was last year. And he's ready to bounce back from that, okay? That's what it is. That, that's a great sign. That's a good thing. 
But at the end of the day, I need the Ravens coaching staff. Like I said in the last video about J.K. Dobbins. If he's not ready, sit him down and tell him he's not ready. Okay? Just because he feels good, he feels like, he feels like he's okay, it, the staff needs to tell him, hey, look, J.K., I know how you feel, but you got to take our pain on this, man. You're not ready to go. Okay? Now, if, if, they, if they give him the all clear, then hell yeah, let's suit up, man. J.K. Dobbins and NY, first week, first week of the season, ready to tear into the New York Jets. I'm all for it. But him being rushed back on the field just to prove to a point that he could do it and get back week one, it's not important, man. If he goes on pup and has to mix the first, um, I believe it's six weeks if you go on a pup list, so be it. The first six weeks of the season, the Ravens should still be in a good enough spot to where he comes back on a team that's four and two, five and one, you know, depending on how it goes, right? So, JK, all right. I I, I love that you took care, of, I love you took control of your own narrative, right? Somebody put out something that's false about you or false in your eyes, you come back at him and, and tell him, hey, look, this is the truth here. So I love that. I love that your rehab is going well. Right, I love that you have confidence in your knee and things like that. That's beautiful, but let's not rush it. The Ravens need you for the long haul, not just for week one. All right, so that's that's where my mind is at with this. Right now, J.K. Dobbins, um, he's going to be an important part of the team. We know this, right? Uh, I would like to see him catch the ball more this year, just because the Ravens are going to have to have. Um, threats from all over the field that's just not wide receiver or, or Mark Andrews, you know. So, J.K. Dobbins, that's another reason why he needs to be fully healthy because he's going to have to be able to have a bigger workload. His rookie year, he didn't even play 50% of the snaps. And that's not his fault. That's just because the Ravens are still trying to play Mark Ingram and Gus Edwards, who was still good, but, you know, J.K. should have played more snaps. All right? I expect him to be the lead dog, have more snaps. The Ravens are still going to rotate Gus Edwards is still going to get his touches, but J.K. Dobbins should be lead dog, far and away, in my opinion. So if that's the case, um, he needs his body needs to be ready to take on a heavier workload. That means more carries, uh, catching the ball at the backfield, things of that nature. Being on the field more than I believe he's on the field like 47% of his rookie year. Expect that number to go way up. So that's why getting back week one, while it's nice to hear, it cannot be the ultimate goal because there's bigger things than getting back week one. All right. So with J.K. Dobbins, hey, great job, man. And these reporters, these insiders, quote unquote, take something that's not true and try to make it into a story. Go back at him. Tell him it's not true. I love it. I love that you got confidence in your knee. Great. Ravens training staff. It's on you, though. It's on you. If he's not ready, tell him he's not ready. Simple as that, man. All right, yeah. Uh, I just want to get out of here with that quick little update on J.K. Dobbins. It was good to hear from him. Like he said, he ain't been posting much online. He's been real quiet, real secretive. So when he popped up like this, it was a little surprising, but ultimately good to see. All right, man, it's your boy Gabriel. There's another fan TV. I'm out.